What's going on? In this video, we're going to look at how you can decide what colors to choose or how many colors you should choose when building your custom software or building your custom app. So we're going to take two examples of this. The first example we're going to look at is Asana. If you look at Asana, you notice here that their home page or the page that you land on when you first log in, their dashboard, very simple. Look how many colors they're using. They're using the white, then they're using this kind of black, dark gray, black color here. Then they have this light pink color here. They have the blue here, and then they have this gold for the upgrade. So that's five colors. But the way they blended it together, they, because they're using different amounts of color, it makes everything blended together. Now, imagine if this page was maybe light blue, but then this was also blue here. This was maybe black. You see how it'd be too much, and now you can't see anything? When you think when you're using colors for your application, one thing I like to keep in mind is colors are good to help important things stand out. Otherwise, you don't want if you can try not to use a color for that, don't use it. Use color when you have something important that you want to stand out. So in this case, upgrade. You want your users to upgrade. Maybe they're on a free plan, you want them to upgrade to the pro plan or to another plan. That's important. So you make that a different color. This right here is going to take you to information about your account. That's important. Here, to create something, maybe are we creating a new project, are we creating a new task? In this case here, task, project, message, invite. These are important actions. Then of course, they have colors here for the different projects. So use colors, when using colors, think of them as what is important for the user. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to have a list of important tasks that the user is gonna have when they're coming to your application in that user journey. Consider using colors to help users get to that task. So if you come and click on my task, you're gonna notice some more colors that Asana uses. Now they use this blue here. They're using gray to help make the project stand out here. They're using red to signify due dates. So you, again, you see how color is being used to point out what's important. If this project was due, this color's not gonna be this. So example, we're gonna put it for today's day. I'm gonna put it for a future day. Let's just say July 1st. Um, okay, so you see here now it changed. Now let's put it in the future. Now we're gonna put it maybe like this. Now you see how it changed from red to gray because no longer it's past. So you see how, again, you use colors to show the difference between something that's important. Now, if I come here, I come to my path, I can see, okay, this isn't red, so probably hasn't passed yet, but then this is red, so it's already passed. Again, you're using colors to show importance. And again, this is an important action here, add task. So you're gonna make this a different color. You come on inbox, you notice here, look, they're using colors here for these, uh, these the, the onboarding to show the user, okay, these are some of the things that you can do on the website or on the application using colors to make this stand out. So when it comes to colors, one thing I personally have to keep in mind is again, use colors just to show if something's important or if there's an action that you want the user to take to help them achieve a certain goal on your software or on your tool. Now, again, if you look at, this is a this is an app I created. Again, it's also very simple. Again, add case, it's made this color wide because it's an important feature. You click it and it's gonna allow you to perform a certain action. So if you click this, you'll notice here, what colors are you using? Pink here, blue on the other one. Again, you're using colors as a way to show what can be done, what's important, what can be done for the user, what are some things that you can accomplish on this software. If we come to profile here, you're gonna notice save is a different color, save is a different color here, but then notice the lead account. Why is the lead account red? It's important, but it's also a terminating action. Once you do this, red is this bold, so you know something's gonna happen. Again, using colors, we wanna keep these things in mind. So in this video, I just wanted to explain to you a little bit about how if you're coming up with an application and whether you're building it for your business, you're building it for another business, how you can use colors in your your, uh, your software to make things easy for users. If you have any questions, if you want me to help you out with building your software or discuss how you can use colors, please feel free to reach out. My information is down below. But once again, I hope this video was helpful and thank you very much.